My name is Adam, and I am a campus support team director at a multi-site church, and we switched from using PowerPoint to ProPresenter. For more reviews like this, click below. So the business problems that each software helps solve uh, are generally presenting things, whether it be for a meeting, whether it be uh, photo slides, uh, maybe it's you know something like a graph or something like that. You know, PowerPoint is very good at solving uh, just general office meeting um, presentations that are simple that you need to throw together quickly. And ProPresenter is more used to solve a problem of how do we get uh, primarily lyrics for a song on large screens with lots of moving graphics, transitions, and uh, just generally trying to do a, a, a much broader uh, presentation with, with more moving pieces that um, is more probably eye-catching than what you do in uh, PowerPoint. So ProPresenter is best in environments that need a lot of media um, in terms of um, showing uh, whether it be different motions, different loop motions, whether it be lyrics or video. Uh, it's really good at presenting lots of moving pieces, active media that's dynamic, uh, multiple different layers, and really primarily good for showing song lyrics is probably its most used uh, application um, in, in church settings. So on Sunday morning, showing lyrics, um, like I said, with a lot of um, moving and happening, um, if you want a lot of dynamic imagery, that's what it's best used for. So PowerPoint is best used for much more simpler presentations than what you would use ProPresenter for. PowerPoint is pretty easy. A lot of people have had exposure to it. Uh, it's great for more simple presentations. It could just be, hey, I need to throw a few slides up for a meeting, or I just need to show uh, a few numbers in a, in a large setting um, to put on a projector or something like that. So it's, it's great for something that's quick and easy, but it's also limited in what it can do, and it's not as good as uh, other platforms for showing you know, high dynamic media. So it's good for simple things, not great for... Uh, more expansive pieces of uh, presentation. How easy it is to implement and actually get these products out um, is pretty similar on both fronts, thankfully. Both are relatively simple. Um, they're easy to access, they're easy to get licenses for. Um, it's all, you know, all something that you can do online. And getting your team set up is not super difficult either. Uh, so with Pro, uh, PowerPoint, it's, um, it's relatively easy in, in buying licenses and, and being able to do that with your team. Uh, for ProPresenter, it's basically the same thing. They use license keys like a lot of other softwares as well. So uh, depending on how many people are using it, what setting you're using it in, um, you can buy different licenses at different price points. Um, and in a church setting, you can also do one where you buy a license for just one machine or for uh, all your machines at a particular campus or building. So they do have flexibility in ProPresenter as well for how many machines you're using that, that software on. Uh, the aspects that I'm looking at software like this, um, when it comes to choosing it and figuring out what is the best solution is kind of two different things. One, can, how can I use it? Um, what is the best use for? What is it built for? Um, you know, if it's a ProPresenter, it's a lot of dynamic moving media along with lyrics and, and, and objects and, and layers. Uh, if it's PowerPoint, it's simple, quick, it's easy for, for just very simple um, uh, presentations. And then the other one that I really like is just how um, the user interface works um, as you're setting it up, as you're using it. Um, PowerPoint is, you know, is, is fine with that, but at the same time, I think ProPresenter has done a great job at upgrading their user interface, their user experience, um, and has done a really good job at trying to get better and better for their users and what they need. And so I'm, I'm considering all those things when I'm looking at software like this.